Hello, my name is Katie Henderson and welcome to another edition of From the Archives. Today I wanted to show you an extract from one of our older set of pocket books that we have in the collection. This is the John Bly collection. This remarkable, remarkable collection of 25 books came to us in 2018. They span a period of 10 years from 1892 to 1902 and they contain the day-to-day -day notes of PC John Andrew Bly and the arrests and incidents that he came across during this period. As we have the Manchester City Police appointment registers from this time, we can also tell you a little bit more about PC Bly. He joined Manchester City Police in 1891, aged just 21 and, and was originally from Clunkeen, Ireland. Prior to working for the police, it is noted that he worked for Patrick Bly as a labourer. So we could guess it was a family firm, I would say. We also know that these books don't span his entire career, as he doesn't resign until 1917. So if you come across the rest of these pocket books, then please do let us know. I'm going to zoom in now so we can look at the page in a bit more details and find out what John wrote for this week. So here at the top we have our first entry, and he uses the same format for each of the pages. Name of the person, their address, the nature of the offence, where the offence took place, at what time and what were the consequences. And he uses this format throughout the books. So firstly at the top here we have Henry Mallinson. Drunk and incapable. Moving down, Samuel Gaskell Hillgate. Carelessly driving a pony and cart. Carrying on, George Higgins. Is arrested for stabbing and willful damage while Frederick Bradshaw had a chimney on fire. We move to the second page. William James Collins, so that's an abbreviation for William, that W and M at the top there, was drunk and making use of bad language. So if you see where it says five slash cost or seven days, that's a five shilling fine, about £20 circa 2017, and I use the National Archive Currency Converter for that. If you couldn't afford the fine, then you had the option to go to jail instead. That's what that means here. The bigger the fine, the longer you had to spend in jail to compensate for non-payment. Moving on, James Taylor obstructed the footpath, and he was fined as well, or given the option for three days. And lastly, Peter Hamilton of No Home was found begging from beer house to beer house on Ashton Old Road. So I think we can see from this that policing today is no different. No two days are the same and an, office re an officer's remit covers a whole range of duty. Going to show that some things never change. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have any comments please do let us know or any documents that you would like us to video uh, for the future.